Well, it happened. We were able to sell the sawmill. Good job, Josh. You know where the money's going. Going to the bank right now. Make a deposit. So, cash the check. Hopefully the check doesn't bounce. Uh, oh man. Sold the uh, old stump grinder. Didn't use it. Sold the chipper. Didn't use it. Sold the sawmill. Didn't use it. Sold the old uh, skid steer. We use that every day, but um, didn't really want to sell that. But guy gave me an offer I couldn't resist, and they had 0% financing. So I sold my old skid steer and bought a new one at 0%. I think the first time I bought mine, I, I was paying like six or seven percent interest. So as long as I pay it off in time, it shouldn't be a problem. And that gave me some more, more money to buy Tesla stock. So trying to maximize the Tesla that I can purchase with all this old equipment that's sitting around and gathering dust and depreciating. So why not? <clears throat> If you're not using it and it's worth money and it's just sitting there I think uh, it's better off in Tesla stock when Tesla's you know having record gains and trying to get as much money as I can into the stock before December 21st because that's when the uh, S&P inclusion comes in and they're putting anywhere from 50 to 100 billion injected into the uh, Tesla company so the stock can do nothing but go up <clears throat> and I'm not an options trader if I knew more about it I'd probably look into it but I'm too afraid to speculate and jump into something I'm not really familiar with yet maybe sometime in the future we'll do that but for right now we're just doing stocks straight out stocks and a little bit of margin other than that we're just sitting tight holding back and enjoying the ride so we will see at the end of the month if it's going to be a good Christmas or not I'm hoping it's going to be a white Christmas and uh, everything's going to go as planned but uh, taking a big risk and hopefully it won't backfire on me <laughs> but you only live once man you got to take you got to take the calculated risks if uh, I'm like over 90% sure everything is going to go that way, but there's always a possible chance that, you know, things won't come out as expected, but that's a chance I'm willing to take, um, leveraging money that, uh, it was just sitting there doing nothing. Um, had a guy that works for me, he's really good at, uh, posting ads and talking to people and able to, uh, you know, get people to come and purchase things that I don't use anymore. So I've sold um, a motorcycle, sold a truck, sold a uh, electric, uh, electric uh, Chiron Firefly, which I loved, but I didn't use it. Sold a Yamaha Enduro I loved, but didn't use it too much. I sold a little dirt bike that um, didn't really have an opportunity to ride very much. Um, sold an old, one of my best stump grinders I used for years, sold that. Um, didn't use it very much since I bought the new one. Sold a, a sawmill that I didn't really use too much. Um, what else? Um, <clears throat> Stole it, sold my chipper that I haven't used in a long time. So, all these things were sitting depreciating. I already used them, already made money with them, um, and they were just sitting there depreciating. So, when something's sitting there and depreciating, worth you know, a good sum of money, why not liquidate it and throw it into Tesla stock? And I don't know, well, I'm on the way to the bank, deposit this check. Like I said, I hope hopefully it goes through and guys seem pretty legit. So anyway, 
thanks for watching and uh, good luck to everybody like I said I'm not a I'm not a financial advisor I don't advise anybody to do what I'm doing um, you know you could lose everything you got to you know just because uh, you know the, the stocks going up and all this is happening at the same time and everything looks rosy you don't know what the economy is going to do but I'm taking my chance it's it sounds like a good deal to me but do your own research do what you're going to do don't do what I do you can follow me but this is a risk a lot of people probably shouldn't take and uh, but I'm going to I'm going to take it I don't see any I've never seen it, anything else this good so I'm going to take a shot if you like this video crush the like button and subscribe and uh Pray for me because it's going to be stressful until Christmas. Bye.